DFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida. It's Tuesday, 9 a.m. Eastern Time, 30 minutes to go until that opening bell. We got a pretty calm market out there, but we got some stocks moving with earnings season in full swing. Right now, you got Dow Futures negative by 12 points, trading at 26,786. S&P futures positive by three, trading at 3,010. NASDAQ futures positive by 22, trading at 79.71. We've got oil trading to the positive side, up about 50 cents at 53.80. Ten-year yield ticking down a bit, 1.766%. We'll start things off. We'll jump over to the charts. There's your S&P. We're up at about 3,014 overnight. We'll jump down into the charts and start it off with that S&P. So a little bit of volatility in both directions. You'll see last night we get an acceleration to higher prices. 3,013.69 is where the futures peak out. We actually trade back down to 3,001 at 4.30 in the morning. And from there, we've traded to the upside. 3,010 in that December S&P contract. NASDAQ 100, pretty similar pattern. We get an acceleration at 8 p.m. last night. We reach a high of about 79.74. We were just back up at that level about a half hour ago. Currently right under that level at 79.71. There's your Dow 30, also reaching a high at about 9.20 p.m. Eastern Time, 26,853. Right now, we're trading right on the dot, 26,800. There's your crude oil chart, trading higher. We just peaked above $54, and now we're back above that level, $54.03. Gold contract, 1490.28. We're up at about 1492 early in the morning. And the euro U.S. dollar backing off a bit, 111.28. So we get almost one out of five S&P stocks coming at us. McDonald's coming out with their earnings falling as earnings and revenue miss. Pretty remarkable. Though. They're trying to reach $4 billion in delivery sales this year. Talk about a change in the way they do business. Getting into the numbers, 211 versus 221 for earnings, 5.4 versus 5.5. We also have the news, WeWork, it just continues as Adam Newman reportedly getting a $1.7 billion deal to step down. Looks like WeWork is going to have control of that company, valuing it at $7.5 to $8 billion. Quite a far cry from the $47 billion. And jumping around to some of those earnings, there's your McDonald's looking to open about two oh two. dollars Procter & Gamble also having their earnings looking to spike higher. And how about Biogen? Is it Bgen? up about 40% on Alzheimer's drug potential. Stay tuned, folks. Larry Pesavento right now. I'll be back at 10 with Tom. Have a great Tuesday.